In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a Shelly controlled drip irrigation system for your flower bed or terrace plant pots. Here is what you will need a Shelly 1 device, a 12 volt half inch electric solenoid valve, a micro drip irrigation kit, an AC to DC 12 volt transformer, an available garden water tap, a 110 to 130 volt power point, a waterproof case for the Shelly 1 and the transformer. The micro drip kit is available in many versions on Amazon and AliExpress and it is quite cheap. It comes with everything you need and you can have it ready to use in minutes. Depending on the number of plants you would like to irrigate, you can buy a kit with more or less components and a longer or shorter length of pipe. You can choose to power the Shelly 1 directly from the AC socket or power both the Shelly 1 and the solenoid valve from the 12 volt transformer. The 5 amp 12 volt transformer should be able to power both. If you choose that, you will need to change the voltage pin on the Shelly 1 to the 12 volt DC position. I choose to power mine directly from the 230 volt AC socket, so I left it as it was. Once the Shelly 1 has been powered up and connected to the Wi Fi network, go into the settings and configure power on default mode as a switch. Configure button type as a toggle switch. Then in application settings, make sure that load type is set as socket and not as lights. We're going to take care of scenes and automations later. For now, let's continue with the physical installation. Connect the electrical solenoid valve to the garden water tap. Depending on your water tap, you might need an adapter. These are widely available at your local DIY store. Connect the quick tip connection to the valve. Most likely you will need an adapter for this, which doesn't come with the kit. But you will need to buy it from your local DIY store. Connect the water pipe supplied in the drip irrigation kit to the quick tip and run the pipe to the first flower pot. Cut it to the required length and add an orange nozzle with adjustable dropper. You may need a T connection. Connect another piece of pipe to this and continue to the next flower pot. Add one or more nozzles depending on your needs and so on until you have reached all the plants. Now let's go back to the solenoid valve. Connect the solenoid valve wires. You may need to extend them as they aren't really long enough if your transformer is more than 20 centimeters away from the valve. It really doesn't matter which wire goes where. Connect one of the wires to the output on the Shelly while the other one goes together with the negative from the 12 volt transformer. The positive from the transformer connecting to, connecting to the input on the Shelly. Make sure that all is waterproof. I connected mine into the uh, waterproof case which I fixed onto the wall. If you have a power socket nearby, it's going to be a lot easier. If not, you will need to bring an electrical point into the waterproof box. If you're not sure what you're doing, it is always better to have your electrician do this. Power up the transformer and the Shelly and check that the valve can be opened and closed using the app. You will hear the valve click when it is open and closed. Once the physical connectivity is all complete, it is time to create the scenes. I created two scenes. 
one for morning irrigation and the other one for evening irrigation. These are very simple. At 7 a.m. the app will turn on the Shelly Relay starting the irrigation. I then added another action to turn off the Shelly Relay but with a delay of 60 seconds. In this way allowing one minute for the drip irrigation. I'm still testing this to see if it is enough, too much or too little, and I might be adjusting it in the future. Then the last action I added was to send a notification to my phone to let me know that the irrigation is complete. The second scene is similar with the only difference that it starts at 7 p.m. instead of 7 a.m. If you like to control all of this from Home Assistant instead of the Shelly app, you can use Shelly for Hass to integrate the Shelly one into Home Assistant if you haven't done it yet. Then it's as simple as creating an automation that will turn on the Shelly and open the valve for the amount of time desired, closing it afterwards. Both the Shelly app scene and the automation in Home Assistant work flawlessly and have exactly the same effect. It's up to you which one you would like to use. Folks, that was all for today. If you watched till the end, thank you. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments section and I will try to help. Until the next video, all the best.